Hey everyone, this is Dan Freevault here and I just wanted to record a quick video tutorial here on how I changed the color of this girl's hair to red to kind of blend in with the whole like Red Riding Hood theme here and just give it a bit more dramatic feel. And uh, also on here is a bunch of my snow brushes which are really cool. And I'm just going to turn off the text and some of these other layers here. Here you can see the snow brushes, how I can just add the snow here. But what I'm going to focus on is the actual color here of her hair. So right here you can see this is the original color of her, her hair. And then I made it this dramatic red color in Photoshop. So it's super easy to do and I will, you know, turn this off here show you how to do it. So I'm just going to add a new layer here. So I'm going to do Command Shift N and then I'll put red hair here. So this is it and it's automatically clipped onto this layer here which is actually you know her where she was on the green screen. If it doesn't clip on there you just want to make sure you make a clipping path and you can just you know, do that easily by holding down your Option or Alt key and click right in between the two. Or you can just go like up here and say like Make Clipping Path or Release Clipping Path. So here releases it, here um, creates it. So depending on your layers in your system, you may not even need to do a clipping path, but for this particular one, I do. So once we have that, all I need to do is go in and pick like a red color here. Let's go with that. Hit my B for brush. And I'm at like 90%. I'm going to leave it like at 90% and make the brush bigger. If you just hit your bracket keys above your return key, you know, your right and left bracket will make it larger or smaller. And just paint in here. And you can see it's not going to look very good when we first start. And I'm kind of do that on purpose just so you can kind of see what I'm doing. But then once you're done, just go on up here to your layer blending modes and go to overlay. And now you can see how it looks a little bit better. And I can turn it down and it can look even better. So I can go in here and just kind of color this in. And I'm just going to do this fast here. I'm using a um, Wacom tablet, which does allow me to move a little bit faster. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm just going to paint this all in here really quick. So you got to get an idea of how it all works and how it blends in. And of course, you know, you're going to have to kind of go in here and fix these edges. And I'll show you how I do that. And again, you can change your opacity if that's too much for your liking. You can just kind of turn it down like that. Let's finish painting it off here. And I'm just going to get real sloppy in here because I'm going to show you how I fix that. All right, so we have it all painted in here. Uh, let's look, let's do this a little bit better in here. Okay, so I just quick painted it. Now let's go back up and kind of refine it. So what I do is just go down here, let's see if I can zoom in here. set here to the layer mask I'm trying to zoom in there we go so right down here you'll see where it says add layer mask and that's what I want to click on that adds a mask right here so now I hit B for brush and then you'll see this changes over to black and white if it doesn't hit D which gives it uh, the default X will toggle from black and white so again zoom in here Let's go over, get D, 
to get default and X and white. X <laughs> toggles it from black and white. If I zoom back out, what I want to do then is go a little bit smaller with my brush. And since this layer mask is white, I need to paint with black to get rid of any excess color. And actually, I'm going to go a little bit softer or a little bit less opacity here and just kind of paint in here. Well, I ended up going down to 1%. That's too much. So you can just kind of go in there then and blend that in. Right here, I got in her chin there. You don't want to do that. Let's hit 7 for 70, a little bit more. And if I go too much and go like, oops, get in here, I just hit the X key to toggle back, and then that helps me fill that back in. So that's pretty much it. Just kind of go in and paint, <coughs> excuse me, all in here till you get this kind of fixed back up. Let's go back 100%. The paint would. You know, right in this area, I'm going to have to make my brush smaller and get in and go like 40%. A little bit more but you can see you got an awful lot of control when you do that I might go 30% in here lightly brush in there there we go and just kind of go in and fix up any areas if you see areas that weren't painted you just go back into your uh, actual layer itself and you see it's still back on red so you can just paint the red right in here so that's a cool little uh, trick to get that hair kind of change colors let me turn on the, the here I also did I added a lot of red into her dress as well so as you go back up and I turn everything back on you have that dramatic effect and then finish off with the snow brushes if you want to get the snow brushes uh, I just click the link down below or I'll have a link in this video here or just go to seniorsunlocked.com and you will see the snow brushes and you can purchase those there. Hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial and can't wait to see what you create with it. Thanks. Take care. Bye-bye.